adorable ruffle scrunch Easter deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have a 14 inch wreath ring, 6 inch deco mesh, ribbon, Chanel stems, and scissors. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I've cut all of my mesh into 8 inch long pieces and I've cut my stems into thirds. So what I'm going to do is just scrunch my mesh and I prefer to kind of alternate layering them just like so and then I have them overlapping in the middle and I'm going to scrunch 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 just like that. Take my stem and twist it a couple of times and flare it out. And I like to alternate the color order and I'll just kind of switch it up as I'm working on my wreath. And then just scrunch, take my stem and twist it a couple of times and then flare it out. For two of my bundles I'm going to add in an extra piece of my mint mesh as I think it's just so cute and adorable. The amount of mesh you use for each bundle that is completely up to you. I've used as many as six pieces and as few as three. So whatever you prefer. And I love alternating the color order just because it just makes it look so cute and fun. Okay scrunch 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 just like that. Take my stem and twist it a couple of times and then flare it out. Once you get all the bundles in place, it'll be a little bit easier to maneuver it. And I'm going to go with four bundles in each of my six sections. Sometimes I go with three bundles in each section, which makes a pretty decent sized wreath. But this time I'm just going to go with a little bit more. Sometimes I go ahead and place all of my stems on my wreath ring. Prior to adding the mesh, I do I do both ways, so it's just personal preference. I will link videos in the description box down below if you guys want to see how I do that method. But I'm just going to take my bundle and start. I'm going to work with the center two rings, and I'm just going to alternate outer, inner, outer, inner. I'm just going to start with the outer bundle, twist my stem a couple of times, and then tuck it away. And then my next bundle will go on the inner ring, twist it a couple of times, and tuck it away. And I'm just going to continue alternating just like that. So back to the outer ring, twist it and tuck it away, and then back to the inner ring, twist it and tuck it away. And then once you get all the mesh placed, if you decide, hey, I want it larger, poofier, fluffier, you can always go back and add more mesh once you're done. Okay, so this is one section and what it's looking like. Once I get more mesh in place, I'll be able to kind of flare it out and adjust it a little bit more. precious already. I'm just flaring and fluffing up my mesh just to make sure everything is nice and poofy. I thought this makes a pretty decent sized wreath. It reminds me kind of a mermaid actually. So adorable. And you can see the back. Outer, inner, outer, inner, outer, inner. Three to four pieces of mesh in each bundle and four bundles in each of my six sections. And I think that makes a pretty decent sized wreath. Again, I have several wreaths where I only use three bundles in each section and that makes a pretty decent sized wreath as well. So it's just personal preference. The thicker and poofier and fluffier you want it, the more mesh you are going to add. But it's so cute, simple, and easy to make. Modify the color, the style, add in any additional embellishments you prefer. Music 